What is up guys, this is Luke Hill for Kit Guru, and in this one we're looking at our top 5 favourite AMD motherboards for 2020. With AMD's success in the CPU market throughout 2020, it's actually been a very strong year for motherboard fanatics. We've been showered with options in all shapes and sizes, whether you're looking for high-end ATX, budget, micro ATX, or enthusiast level mini ITX. 2020 has served up a really good offering to the platform. Clearly, B550 on the venerable AM4 ecosystem has been the notable launch for 2020, but has anything else impressed us enough throughout 2020 to make it into our top 5 list? Let's have a look. But before we do that, if you like what we do here at Kickeru, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Do all that YouTube stuff, you know, it really helps us out, really supports us. You can check out the written content on the Kickeru website, that also really supports us. And you can check out our Patreon page, our merch store, our Twitter, and all the other social media channels allow you to keep in contact with us. Let's get back into it. Starting off with position number five in our top five list, we have the ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX AX. This enthusiast grade mini ITX motherboard had us impressed by the sheer quantity of features squeezed into its diminutive package. You get all the goodies that we've come to expect from high-end ITX offerings, dual M.2 connections, plenty of fast USB connectivity, and high-speed networking options. But it was the overall design package of the Phantom Gaming ITX AX that had us impressed versus some of the competitors on the B550 and AM4 platform. While not the cheapest at £200-£215 in the UK, it was the quality of components selected by ASRock that had us feeling that the price tag was probably justifiable to enthusiast level ITX users. In addition to the 8 layer PCB design, ASRock deployed an 8 stage VRM solution that utilised 90 amp DR MOS power stages. Importantly, this allowed ASRock to offer the B550 Mini ITX motherboard without a cooling fan for either the chipset or the VRM, making it a completely passively cooled solution. That is a particularly important point to users who would rather not deal with the annoyance of a small onboard motherboard fan. Equally so, home server aficionados deploying the Phantom Gaming ITX AX in a 24-7 home server setup in an out-of-sight location will be pleased that a motherboard fan or a VRM fan is not another headache that they have to worry about with regards to component failure. Good hardware and some notable benefits versus competing ITX options allows the ASRock B550 Phantom Gaming ITX AX to secure position number 5 in our top 5 list. Next up, we have a non-B550 motherboard in our list. What a surprise. Position number four goes to the Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha TRX40 motherboard. Compared to the original non-alpha extreme version, the new motherboard brought about a significant upgrade to VRM performance. Buffed up to deploy a 16-stage power delivery solution that utilized 90 amp Infineon power stages, the Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha cements its position as one of the most power-capable motherboards on the entire market ever and that point is particularly noticeable when dealing with the hefty dual fan cooled VRM heatsink that is designed to handle CPU power loads in excess of 600 watts. We successfully pushed around 900 watts of system wide wall power through the motherboard with about 600 to 650 to even 700 watts of that being pushed directly through to the 64 core Threadripper processor. This extreme level, which delivered a peak of around 700 watts of juice through the VRM to the CPU alone, did not even result in the overkill VRM running up to worrying temperatures. We consistently stayed below 100 degrees Celsius on the motherboard's VRM sensor, and the cooling fans did a stellar job at maintaining complete stability in our testing. Priced at a wallet busting £900 in the UK, and only supporting STRX4 Threadripper processors that themselves cost in excess of a grand here in the UK, the Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha is a ludicrous motherboard. A built-in OLED display, capability for 5 M.2 SSDs, over 600 watts of CPU power comfortably delivered through the VRM, and overclocking features galore. The Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha truly is worthy of its position in our top 5 motherboards for 2020. Position number 3 takes us back to B550, and here we have the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master. This flagship level B550 offering was a really interesting board to us because it blurred the lines between high-end B550 and enthusiast level X570 offerings. Typical limitations that we associate with the B550 platform, such as single Gen 4 SSD support, 
were not an issue with the Aorus Master thanks to some clever PCIe lane allocation work done by Gigabyte. You could do triple Gen 4 SSDs alongside a high-end and high-bandwidth graphics card while still maintaining the luxury of no chipset fan thanks to the B550 silicon and no CPU link headaches from a bandwidth perspective. Another area where the B550 Aorus Master punched well above its weight was in terms of component quality. This B550 motherboard deploys a 16-phase Infineon-based VRM that is comfortably one of the top five power delivery solutions for the entire AM4 suite of motherboards, both in terms of X570 and B550. For reference, the high-end TRX40 Aorus Master motherboard for Threadripper uses the same VRM solution as this considerably cheaper B550 motherboard. That 14 plus two phase VRM design saw 70 amp power stages deployed for the CPU. That gave the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master a monumental amount of current capability for overclocking high-end Ryzen chips. Furthermore, Gigabyte backed up the quality VRM components with a well-designed and efficient heatsink that scores highly in terms of competent design and manufacture. That's in addition to the six layer PCB and the rear mounted thermal and structural backplate and the triple M.2 SSD heat sinks. And further examples of supreme quality for the Aorus Master were displayed with the ample and overkill number of onboard RGB and fan header solutions, including Gigabyte's market leading Smart Fan 5 control mechanism through software. Unsurprisingly, given the excellent array of features on offer, the B550 Aorus Master is very pricey in the UK at around about £260. But this truly is an enthusiast caliber AM4 motherboard that simply deploys the passively cooled B550 chipset instead of X570 plus a fan. This was a commendable engineering and design performance by Gigabyte. Credit there. Position number two in our list goes to the Asus ROG Strix B550E Gaming. This motherboard scores its place in our list thanks to an excellent balance between features, an overall strong build quality, and a really good aesthetic design for enthusiast gamers who want a sharp looking system. In addition to onboard RGB lighting, good fan capability, and dual cooled M.2 slots, the B550e Gaming still serves multi-GPU users, if they still exist, with a pair of X8 capable Gen 4 expansion slots. Arguably of more importance, is the flexibility with high bandwidth add-on devices that this smart design decision from Asus allows. Focusing on the power delivery solution, it is clear that this is an area where Asus did not skimp in the budget. 16 total power stages are deployed in a 14 plus two configuration. Asus used a teamed approach with relatively new MPS power stages that proved to offer respectable thermal performance in our testing. Strong power delivery capability, a well-balanced set of features, and an aesthetically pleasing design. All of those points combined to make the ASUS ROG Strix B550e Gaming a really promising solution. Coupled with a reasonable price tag of around £200 in the UK, we feel that the ASUS solution is worthy of position number two in our list. Our favourite all-round AMD motherboard of 2020 goes to the MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk. This, perhaps, does not come as much of a surprise to our audience. MSI's Tomahawk SKUs have been delivering the goods on the AM4 platform time and time again. And the B550 Tomahawk does a superb job of continuing that trend. What makes the B550 Tomahawk such a compelling option is a strong array of features coupled with a no-nonsense design that permits for highly competitive market pricing. Currently available for around about £160 in the UK, you get a lot of motherboard for your money. This is perhaps an ideal partner for Ryzen 5000 processors, whether you're looking at the 6-core little one or the 16-core big boy. If it's overclocking proficiency that you want, the B550 Tomahawk delivers with its 10 plus 2 plus 1 stage solution using intersil components. If it's cool running temperatures that you want, the B550 delivers thanks to its oversized VRM, M.2 and chipset heat sinks. And if it's capability for high speed networking that you want, the B550 Tomahawk delivers thanks to its Realtek based 2.5 gigabit and 1 gigabit Ethernet adapters. Put simply, the MSI B550 Tomahawk delivers in a variety of scenarios. And that includes fan control capability thanks to eight total onboard headers and a strong UEFI led speed curve management tool. There really are no major downsides to the B550 Tomahawk if you're a gamer or an enthusiast user running with a dedicated graphics card. Perhaps a rear clear CMOS button would have been nice, but that was one of the few complaints that we could find. Currently selling for around about 160 pounds in the UK, 
we feel that the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk is an excellent go-to option that will serve well for enthusiasts or gamers alike. So there we have our list of top 5 AMD motherboards that we've reviewed for 2020. Like we said in the intro, 2020 has proved to be a really good year to be a motherboard enthusiast with so many strong options available on the market. And that's especially true with AMD's B550 platform launch, proven to be a success in our opinion. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below and let us know how you rank your top 5 AMD motherboards of 2020. Did you pick one of the boards that we featured in our top 5 roundup? Let us know in the comments section down below. We just want to say thanks again for supporting us here at Kickeroo throughout the year and we really hope you've enjoyed the content that we've brought to you on a variety of products. Make sure you check out our other top 5 hardware lists and make sure you check back for more content throughout 2021 and onwards. As always, you can support us by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon, checking out the Kickeroo website because that really helps us out and supports us, checking out our Patreon page, buying a cool t-shirt like this and doing whatever you can to keep in touch. We hope you enjoy the rest of 2020 and smooth sailing into 2021.